at just over 29 feet long, 650 pounds of hitch weight and under 6,000 pounds dry. Our smallest floor plan in the Delta lineup, the 251BH is directly behind me. Today, you and I are gonna take a tour. My name is Jake Daniels, let's get started. Although this is the smallest travel trailer in our Delta lineup, we still wanna give you ample space for the bunkhouse section. This is a 46 by 75 double over double bunk setup, and these cushions are typically twice as thick as anything else you're gonna find out there. This is gonna maximize the comfort for any kids or grandkids that you have along the trip. Standard in both of our bunk areas includes a USB A and C charge port, as well as a 12 volt LED push button light. Additionally, the bunk area includes large storage right below the bottom bunk. Next to the bunk area, you will find a bathroom that includes a foot flush porcelain toilet, solid surface countertops, XL sink, medicine cabinet on the vanity, toothbrush holder, linen cabinet, as well as an antimicrobial shower curtain. Moving over to the flush floor slide out here, we have an 80 inch dinette that doubles as a sleeping area. We also have our atrium window series, which you find across our entire brand line uh, that includes blackout night shades and every single window opens for full venting. Here's the sleeping setup in the 80 inch dinette on this 251BH. You'll still see cabinet doors below for extra storage. And speaking of storage, when we developed our entire brand line, we wanted to maximize every piece of square inch that we could. You're not gonna find extra storage behind the refrigerator in any other brand. It's no secret how difficult it is to find just a normal campsite anymore. That has bred an entirely new style of camping, boondocking, uh, no hookups. Having those provisions in place right out of the box is gonna be a very important part of what you need to look for. We have standard, our OTG package or off the grid, which includes a 200 watt roof mounted solar panel, 20 amp MPPT charge controller that helps offset all of the 12 volt usage throughout the day, especially the 12 volt 10 cubic foot refrigerator. We also have residential 12 volt can lighting as well as integrated LED lights throughout the entire coach. Helping offset that power draw throughout the day with a standard OTG package is gonna make your life so much easier regardless of the style of camping. So how exciting can a traditional kitchen setup be? Well, until the Delta line, that's a great question. Let me show you what sets this apart. One of which we have a flip up solid surface countertop. Now check this out. We changed the location of the drain, moved it all the way over to one side. Cool, well what does that do for you? Well, what's the first thing you do when you get to your campsite? You figure out where you're gonna put your trash. We already have that covered. That's a full size trash can right in there. The L shape provides plenty of extra storage for prep. You have a three burner gas cooktop with an oven, microwave right above, and soft closed cabinet doors with magnetic hinges. And check this out, right above the microwave, that's also another area where you would typically find dead space or just a panel right there. Why not give you extra storage? We have LED backlit kick plate down here in the kitchen area, which greatly increases the ambiance, but that's not the only thing it does. We've actually removed the large black panel that you typically see in RVs for the air return. That has two functions, one of which gives you a nice ambiance, but now that functions as our full air return. To further expand on maximizing that storage, we integrated a soft closed cabinet door up here. Typically, this is another spot where you're just not gonna see any storage. This is directly above the 40 inch smart LED TV. Of course, the question is, well, where's the sound bar? This takes up a lot of space right up here. So in order to maximize the storage space for your pan sleep, now that doesn't mean we took the sound bar away. What we did is we actually moved it to the ceiling. It's a Bluetooth surround sound system, which greatly frees the interior space of the pantry system itself. You're gonna find two shelves on drawer guides here. That this, this could also serve as a workstation. You have a 110 volt outlet down here. The bottom one is a little bit deeper for any larger uh, food items or uh, appliances that you might have. Down here we have an extra piece of storage and a nice cabinet door for your breaker panel. Up front in the bedroom, we have a true 60 by 80 walk around queen bed. Underneath that bed is extra storage, including a sliding drawer. On each side of the bed, you're gonna find epoxy poured nightstands that have hidden storage below. Also, USB compatible A and C charge ports as well as outlets on each side. To further bring home the concept of maximizing the storage in our entire Delta product line, we wanted to give you the option of either shelves or hanging clothes in each side of the bed on the closet area. 
Not only is this one of the most ergonomic floor plans in the industry, it does beg the question, well, how do you build these things? We use the best components in the industry and the best construction practices. That's gonna give you the most amount of peace of mind throughout your travels. What do I mean by that? We're using an Asdell composite substrate that's half the weight of wood, twice as strong and impervious to water on the exterior, the interior, in the floors, and your roof is covered with a maintenance-free PVC roofing that comes with a lifetime warranty that is fully repairable. And we're also using a lot of the same customer-driven features that you find throughout the rest of our product line. And look, not to be outdone, we're still using the same customer-driven features that you find on our Paradigm, Valor, and Avenue series, like plumbing shutoff valves at every location, reinforced drawers, absolutely zero carpet, no vents on the main floor, flush floor sides, Need I say more? Actually, yeah, there is one more that's a major benefit, especially in these travel trailers. We have standard two air conditioners on every floor plan you're gonna find in the Delta, which is awesome, but I can take that a step further. These air conditioners will both run off of 30 amp service. Now, we give you 50 amp as standard, but in the event that you're at your house or at a campsite where there's only 30 amp available, go ahead, you can run both of these off of that 30 amp service. So that pretty much sums it up for the interior of the 251BH, but there's one last thing I wanna point out. That's our overall 81 inches of ceiling height. Typically, you're gonna find a barrel roof, which means just down the middle is where that full 81 is. We actually squared it off, so each side is at 81 inches as well. This gives you a lot more than just interior living space. That's how we have larger slide outs and integrating extra storage, especially above the microwave or above the television. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Now, let's take a look outside. So in the world of arriving at your campsite and leaving your campsite, there's a number of pain points that historically everyone experiences. We made a major focus on maximizing the usability. Look, in a basement storage area, how much is there really to talk about? Well, with the Delta brand, there's a ton. And that's why I wanted to start the exterior tour with this upfront baggage section. This is 62 cubic foot of exterior storage, virtually unheard of. Now, what's the first thing you do, just like on the inside, you look for a place to hide your trash. What's the first thing you do when you get to your, your campsite? You look down here and you gotta grab your table. Well, in our case, this is genius. We actually integrated the table right up on the top section of the baggage area. This keeps all of your tools, your luggage, everything right here on the floor. Now you don't have to mess around moving all that stuff just to get access to the table. It's locked in place. You know it's not going anywhere. And look, that's just the beginning of this exterior baggage door. Let me show you a few other features. You have 12 volt awning switches right here. You still have the traditional one on the inside. Not only that, you have a hot and cold spray port on the campsite up front. This is one of three locations, by the way. You also have cable connections, USB A and C charge ports right up here, and a motion sensing light with your front cap light switch. Everything is framed out in aluminum. If you peel this front cap back, you're gonna find full aluminum from the floor to the ceiling. And I mention that because it's frankly not very common in travel trailers of this size. In the storage section of the off-door side of this 251BH, we're taking this a few steps further. We have slide out controls. This is perfect for getting to your campsite and of course leaving. Now you have full visibility of exactly where you're at. You have exterior temperature controlled spray ports. Again, this is the second location and I'll show you the third here in a moment. You have a prep for a TPMS system, all of your normal mechanicals, motion sensing LED light, battery disconnect, as well as a panel right here that gives you perfect access to your charge controller and your water pump for winterization. Now on the inside of this slide out includes your 80 inch dinette. You typically do have storage in the seating area there, but let's be honest, it's pretty awkward to get to. So integrating this baggage door on, on the slide out section itself greatly increases the ease of getting access to the storage and really maximizing it. But what are you gonna put here? You could have fishing poles, kids gear, any extra stuff, and really stuff that you don't want getting dirty from all the other equipment you have up front. This is a major benefit for the ergonomics of this thing. Otherwise, you're just gonna be rooting around underneath the dinette. Additionally, we still have a universal backup camera prep and a rear hitch, just like the rest of our Alliance product. Campside rear of the coach just below the bunks on the inside gives us plenty of space for the outdoor kitchen. You have a dorm style refrigerator and a large 25 inch uh, dual cooktop exterior griddle or grill combo. This proves to be one of the most versatile cooktops on the industry, being able to have both of these options regardless of how you like to cook. 
Standard on the 251DH is the three-step solid step through Lipper. Now I wanna know, on our larger units that have two entries, we are also using the solid step on both of those entries. Typically, you're gonna find it only on one of them. We have a friction hinge glass entry door, which is prepped for a thin shade with an oversized grab handle and a 21 foot awning. And again, on a 29 foot camper, that's massive. Standard equipment for the running gear and underside of all Delta floor plans includes Goodyear tires, oversized shackles and welded V-bracket spring hangers, as well as fully covered underbellies, heated 12 volt tank pads on every single tank. This is one of the features that's gonna give you much more time on both ends of the year. One of the best evolutions we've seen for the overall use of any product out there, let alone the Delta product line, are on-demand water heaters. Every single floor plan that we manufacture includes a 60,000 BTU on-demand water heater. So to recap, this Delta 251BH is proven to be one of the most versatile small bunkhouse models available in the industry today. This comes in at 29 feet three, under 6,000 pounds with 650 pounds of hitch weight. Now look, I understand we covered a lot of information today, so thank you for taking the time. Any questions you have, feel free to contact us direct at AllianceRV.com or simply comment below. We'll be happy to get you the information. This is Jake Daniels signing off for now. Thanks again, we'll see you around. This 80 inch wide dinette is directly, this 80 inch, this 80 inch wide dinette. No, I like that, okay. There we go, buddy. Do you still hear me? Yep, gotcha. All right. Should I say dry camping or just camping with no hookups? What? M P T T M P P P P P. So you don't have it. How did I say it last time? What was the... Uh, should I just take take your time, you know, and then... <laughs> yeah! Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna think for 10 seconds. I'm gonna, this is a good, this is a good question and answer kind of thing here, because this guy, I'm telling a story. All right, hold on. Yeah, good, so I got some time to think, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, put your back into it. No. Okay. Okay.